Hello viewers, welcome to sp.net and devexpress tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create a simple sp.net application and compare uh, devexpress grid with sp.net grid side by side to understand why we should use devexpress. To complete this tutorial you have to install uh, SQL Server 2017 and Advanced Work Database 2017. Both are freely available in internet. You can install SQL Server developer version and, and this database is always free. And download and restore. I am not showing this in this tutorial because we have other video in my channel to learn a SQL Server installation. So please view those tutorial video to understand more clearly. I have already set up SQL Server 2017 and restore Advanced Work 2017 database. Now we need to open Visual Studio, create a new project we will use C sharp language sp.net web application click next we are going to create a web form application This is our application in Solution Explorer. We will see various component. Visual Studio automatically created this. So we will understand the purpose of these objects gradually. Go to Solution Explorer, right click on the project. Click Add or Form. In ASP.NET, Web Form has three view. There is Source, it is a HTML view, a Split view. It is showing the graph in the Design view. I have a Mistral Dev Express 19.1. You can use any other version, 18 or 17. Now we are going to compare the grid control side by side. First, I am taking grid control from Dev Express. Here is the Dev Express grid view. In this arrow tab, we will find various options. Choose the data source, it is the first work. I am selecting new data source. SQL database. Click OK. Create a new connection string. SQL Server. Continue. It is searching for server name. Here is our database server. For SP.NET application, you should always use a SQL Server authentication. I'm using SQL Server authentication. Test the connection. Connection is succeeded. Select the database name, click OK. The connection string has been created. Well, is V employee.
I am picking the grid view from the sp.net built-in controls. In the data source, I am selecting same data source, enabling phasing, shorting, and it has some other functionalities. Auto generate add button, delete button, select button. Dev Express Grid also some extra functionalities. You can share group panel, filter row, fill search panel, select checkbox, edit show edit button, new button delete button you can also have the theme here there is a lot of built-in themes Microsoft blue theme let's run this page and uh, compare to grid side by side As Dev Express Grid, it looks very modern and stylish. It has some extra functionality. You can search tags here. You can also search by column. All bar is here. Or you can simply drag and drop the column to group the all data. Job title accounts. You can do it dynamically at runtime. Nice looking navigation button. sp.net built-in grid it is looks very ugly you have to create your own css to make it look better it has no search row no grouping row it is very simple and raw so if you want to make a modern stylist good looking web application you have to use dev express Every DevSpress control has some special functionalities. We will learn all step by step in this tutorial series. Please comment below if you have any specific query about DevExpress tools. And don't forget to subscribe my channel.